Ah, hello, and it's a blessed morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another wonderful, glorious session of your connecting with the Holy Spirit that's within you. Your prayers set aloud in the privacy of your own home, your connection with God. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns. So we begin with my prayer. Beloved God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, and Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga. So anybody could practice this ancient method of prayer anytime, any way they want. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we're going to say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to your love, O oh God. And I allow my heart to be purified of fears as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. these moments that I can share with my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, Amen. Om. Now we're going to try to clear our minds of fears. We do this twice in the Sacred Heart Yoga. First time it's, it's with an arm movement where we take our right arm, point it up towards the heavens, let it fall over to the right side of our bodies, like the, the arm of a clock moving from... 12 o'clock position to the 3 o'clock position. Then we move it to our right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position over on our left side, and then back up to the top, to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me these words. Beloved God, <clears throat> I clear my heart. of anyone or anything 
that is standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Om. Now the rest of the prayers, you'll I'll begin them, and um, just uh, a few words. You repeat those words, and then fill in what's pertinent in your life, your walk with God, your questioning, your fears, your heartfelt concerns. You just fill them in yourself. So here we take our right hands over our hearts and our first prayer, I'll, I'll say our prayers begin with. And here that means you just repeat what I say and then, and then fill it in with your own concerns for the rest of the prayers throughout all of Sacred Heart Yoga here. So we take our right hands over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you? this day. Om. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We do this by standing straight and tall. Put our arms at our sides, palms forward, and here our prayers begin with. God, my intention to serve you is to Om. Now we're going to sit back down on the mat, lay down on our backs, and get into what's called resting position which is our arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. And here we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Om. Now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, hold it down near our pelvis, left arm goes straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand, left arm still above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we let our right leg go out to the right side of our bodies. Let it fall down to the mat, extend our leg out straight, open our pelvis as wide as we can, take our arms, extend them straight out to the sides, down to the mat. Here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now 
we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our right leg straight up into the heavens and then over to the left side of our bodies. And here our prayers begin with God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for. Om. Now we go back to resting position. And we pull our left knee up to our chest. Holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our left foot in our right hand, hold it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat and our left arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our left foot in our left hand, holding it down near our pelvis, and our right arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our left foot pointed up towards the heavens. Holding it with our left hand, right arm still above our heads, down to the mask mat, and the prayer our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we let our left foot fall out to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, opening our pelvis, our leg extended, our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides, down to the mat, palms up, and our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left leg, keeping it extended straight. Lift it up, point it towards the heavens, and then over to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat, and our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we go back to resting position in a second time. We're going to try to surrender our fears. And, and it's because fears prevent our ability to love. You cannot be terrified of somebody holding a gun to you and your family and still find true love in your heart. It just cannot happen. So you got to get rid of your fears to even have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit, with God. It's a God and the Holy Spirit of pure love. So here we're going to release our fears into God's love, into the Holy Spirit's love. We do this by putting our hands under our sit bones leaning forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, Holy Spirit, I surrender into your love my fears of Oh. 
Om. Now we lay back down on the mat in resting position. And we reach for the heavens with our left hand. Let it fall over to the right side of our bodies. And we take our left hand halfway between our, our right hand, I'm sorry. We take our right hand halfway between our left elbow, left shoulder, stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with. God, I sur no, God, in service to your name, I choose to Um. Now we reach for the heavens with our right hand. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. And we take our left hand halfway between our right elbow, right shoulder, stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true Father, in your name I can. Um. Now we go back to resting position, pull our feet up to our pelvis, soles of our feet down on the mat, knees heavenward. And then we let our knees fall out to the sides, down to the mat, soles of our feet naturally coming together, forming a triangle below our bodies. In sacred heart yoga, we consider the triangles we form with our arms, legs, hands. We, we consider the triangle a tabernacle or a house of God. We form a second tabernacle with our hands by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice filled with anything you could ever desire, want, or need to use in service to God's love. So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of. Oh. Now we take our hands down to the tops of our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with. God, 
I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul. Um. Now we keep for the next, we start the anointing series and it's four prayers. And it's just thanking God for the gifts he's given us and, and acknowledging where they came from and, and how they're supposed to be used to serve God and serving God's love now to humanity. Um, we keep our hands in prayer position during the four movements. And we start by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them in your service, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands down over our hearts and our prayers begin with God I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um, now we do a motion with our hands, keeping them in prayer position. We point them down, our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our arms straight out to right above our pelvis. Our hands are above our pelvis, arms are straight, and it's kind of like the arms of a clock at the three o'clock position. We move it counterclockwise, our hands up towards the heavens, the uh, 12 o'clock position, and then down to the mat above our heads, which is the nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul with your gifts to me of
Um. Now we repeat the anointing series a second time because thanking God for his gifts to us and acknowledging them is so awfully important. We begin by putting our thumbs to our foreheads and our prayers begin with God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them in service to your name, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with. God, I thank you for your gifts to me of Um, now we do the motion, pointing our fingers down into our abdomens, extending them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. And we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe, for healing me. Um, now we roll over on our sides, push ourselves 
back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. <coughs> Now we sit straight and tall, and we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee. We hold our left knee up to our chest with our arm, our right arm. Our le left arm goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left, and our prayers begin with. God. In service to your love, I desire to. Um. Now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. We take our right foot across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs for support. And here our prayers begin. We turn our heads, shoulders, backs to the right, and our prayers begin with God, in service to your name, I will. Um. Now we get up on our knees. We put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for Um. Now we take our form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first fingers together. We put this tabernacle down on the mat in front of us. 
And here we lean over in child's pose and put our foreheads in this tabernacle. And we just take a moment to feel God's true presence, God's love surrounding us in the world, God's love entering our bodies, healing us, healing our minds, healing our spirits, healing our souls. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. We let our right leg go out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in service to your name, I will become. Um. <clears throat> now we switch legs, left leg out to the left side, leg extended out straight. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. Here our prayers begin with God in service. To your name, I am. Now we go back to sitting position. We put our hands on our knees, sitting up straight and tall. We put our hands on our knees, palms up, thumbs touching our middle two fingers. This forms tabernacles with our hands. We keep our back straight and bow forward with our, at our pelvis. And our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O God, for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul. Um. Now we sit back up straight and tall a second time, keeping our back straight. 
we bow forward at our pelvis and our prayers begin with, I bow to your love, O oh God, my true father, my true mother, the oneness in pure love. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall, third time. <clears throat> And here we feel where we're grounded down to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. <coughs> Excuse me. On the left side of our pelvis, we can feel God's wonderful white light of love coming up into our bodies from the earth below. God's white light of love fills our legs to the tips of our toes. It fills our abdomens. It fills our backbones, our hearts, our lungs. God's white light of love fills our arms to the tips of our fingers, fills our throats, and fills our minds with peace and love. God's white light of love goes out the tops of our heads like this getting wider and wider beacon of light in all directions, expanding out. And this beacon of light, white light, surrounds the whole earth and rains down upon every living creature. Now we can step up. Nope. Not yet. Now we feel on the right side of our bodies God's beautiful blue light of truth. God's truth, blue light of truth, fills our legs to the tips of our toes. It fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. It fills our backbones, our hearts, our lungs. God's blue light of truth fills our arms to the tips of our fingers. It fills our throats and fills our minds. And it goes out the tops of our heads, this wonderful blue light of God's truth in an ever-expanding wider and wider beacon of light that just wraps around the whole earth and rains down God's beautiful truth on everything every living creature there is for them to choose if they so desire when they're ready ripe now we can step up into the light above our heads stay as long as we want ask anything we want But our, but before leaving, we should always ask, what do I need to know this day? <clears throat> 